Okay, so we've got to the point where we know how many cubic metres of space is in the pool um, of water volume. We can work that out by multiplying the cubic metres by a thousand to give us the total volume in litres of water in the pool. Now, the important part to realise at this point is that your dosing rates for all of your chemicals will be relevant to that volume of water in the pool. So then we go to parts per million or mg slash L, um, which is a weight to volume ratio, which means the same thing as PPM, um, parts per million. And uh, we can then work out how much chemical is required in the pool. So if you refer to the free chlorine manual, uh, it will give you all of the dosing methods that you need. So on the left hand side, you'll see here uh, if the chlorine is low, the ideal level that you want the free chlorine to be is one to three parts per million. Now that's a world standard. What you need to do as far as chemicals are concerned, you'll see them listed there. The sodium hypo is the main one, which is liquid chlorine. It's a concentration of around 10 to 14%. What you'll need to do is add one litre of liquid chlorine per 100,000 litres of water to raise the chlorine level one part. Now in the next part of the chart, you'll see if the chlorine is high. So for high chlorine, again, the free chlorine level needs to be one to three parts per million. The chemical that we're going to dose into the pool is sodium thiosulfate. And what we need to do is add 500 grams of sodium thiosulfate per 100,000 litres of water to reduce the level by one part per million. To increase the pH using soda ash, we'll use 360 grams of soda ash per 100,000 litres of water for each point that it has to come up. For high pH, and again, the recommended ideal level by the health department is between 7.2 and 7.8 parts per million. We're going to use hydrochloric acid and we'll mix the hydrochloric acid, one part acid to five parts water. Always remember, put the water in first in the container and then the chemical after that. And we'll use 250 mils of hydrochloric acid for each point it has to come down per 100,000 litres of water. For low alkalinity, and the ideal level of alkalinity is 100 to 150 parts per million. What chemical we're going to add is sodium bicarbonate. Add 1.7 kilos of sodium bicarbonate per 100,000 litres of water to increase the level by 10 parts per million. For high alkalinity, and again, the ideal range is 100 to 150 parts per million, we're going to use hydrochloric acid. We'll add three litres of hydrochloric acid per 100,000 litres of water to bring the level down by 10 parts per million. If the calcium is high, and always remember that the main chemical in water will always be calcium. The ideal range is around 175 to 300 parts per million. What we can use is CCD. So add one kilo of CCD per 100,000 litres of water to increase the level by 10 parts per million. If the calcium is high, it's always very difficult to bring it down if the source water is high in calcium and you just need to be aware of that. But in the main, the calcium levels should range between 80 and 200 parts per million. So, as you can see, you need to use a tape measure to get the dimensions of the pool. Once you've got the exact dimensions, you can then work out the square meterage of the surface area and then the volume with the depth. Don't worry about the water in the rest of the circulation system, particularly in the balance tank, because the balance tank is a confined space and it's very dangerous. Now, always remember, Make sure you dry off your tape measure before you let it retract back into its casing because the water is very acidic and it will rust the tape measure. You can then refer your volume back to the flow chart that we've just done for all of the dosing measures of your chemicals. And for further information, check out the Poolstar website.